Welcome back to the channel today. I'm going to show you how to change the camshaft on the D100 uh, John Deere tractor, 17 and a half horsepower. So I got a video on how to remove uh, this motor. I'll put it in the comments below. If this turns over and locks up and your valve are good, what, what it is is this uh, decompression bump here, it let go on your, on your camshaft inside. So we're going to take this motor apart, change, this, change the camshaft. Drain the oil out of it a little bit here. All right, I'm gonna drain most of the oil out of it. And turn the motor upside down. A couple bolts here, this half inch socket. This should all be the same size. Let's tap it easy up here. Tap it up here and just hit the hammer. It should come out. Uh, there you go. There's your governor. Slap off the, these valves here. I can take the camshaft out. Take the rods off. The steel one is for the uh, exhaust one. All right, this camshaft is just coming right out. As you can see, the lever's gone out of the camshaft. It's in there somewhere. And I'm gonna turn over the motor upside down here. Drain the rest of the oil. I uh, found all the parts. Uh, they weren't in the motor, they were in the oil there. I couldn't just see it. Razor blade works really good. All right, I cleaned the gasket. This did a real good job. Let's just put the brake cleaner in here. Clean it good. Clean everything in here. I know how not to go inside the cylinder. Well, I look there. A little compressed air in here. There's a little dot on this uh, gear here. I'm gonna rotate that where the camshaft's gonna be. That's right there for now. Just a little bit of this uh, breaking oil here on the cam loads. This camshaft and uh, lifter lubricant. Stick in the, the motor here. And push them all the way in. Well, this camshaft's got a, a mark on it here too. So I'm gonna line that up. This goes. Just like that. Two dots line up. Now for the governor. This goes on top of the camshaft. This uh, pin goes right against the governor's shaft right here. Right here, so. I'll put that right there. Now this one doesn't have a, an oil pump, but the uh, 18 horsepower and up, uh, this gear here will turn a, a, a pump. So there'll be a cover right here. Take cover off, take this uh, pin out and put the pin in after you put the, the, the this cover back on. Up the silicone, not much, just a hair. Around these bolts everywhere. I don't want it to leak. Just a just a little bit, and I'm gonna on my finger here on the inside, so make sure there's none on the inside here. I'm gonna put a little bit of here on the motor. Just 
a little lube here. This is a good time to change the seal. This here, the lip is, looks really good. I'm gonna reuse it. There you go. A crisscross pattern. Yeah, I forgot to tell you, when you put this uh, plate in, you make sure you don't roll this lip on the seal when you put it in. If it hangs up, when you press on the lip on the side like that, then you wiggle it in, push it in. We torque these to about 300 inch pounds or 25, 25 foot pounds. If you don't have a torque wrench, you can just guess. Make sure it's everything's the same. So, clean your push rods. The aluminum one goes on the bottom. Make sure it's in the lifter back down there. The steel one goes on top for the exhaust. Yeah. Tighten these down. Clean the gasket here. Should have it laying down here so nothing goes inside the motor. So it just takes a drag on there. Okay, I'm gonna set the intake. This is so there's a nice drag on it. Now we can see the uh Compression bump here, you'll see it here in a minute. Okay, watch this bump here. Up, up all the way, and it goes back down right there. See it? Exhaust. It's gonna go all the way up and back down right there. See it? Now that's the decompression bump that we need. It's working there. Now let's put a little silicone here. Just gasket maker. All right, see, she fires up. I put a little gas in the carburetor a little bit. All right, that's running good there now. All right, uh, if you like this video, you can subscribe to my channel. Click below. Smash that thumbs up button, leave a comment below. Thank you for watching.